know what? Mm -mm. Yeah, much better. Hey guys, this is Kevin from Today's Technical Connect, and sorry I haven't been here for a while. I've been getting my uh, my YouTube environment ready to go, my man cave slash YouTube studio. So it's taking me a little while to get some content out. But now that I'm back, we're gonna get into something really cool. We're gonna compare the brand new Apple iPods or the Apple iPod 2s with a better, cheaper version, well, with a cheaper alternative that a lot of you guys might like. The Zono Liberty Truly Wireless Earbuds. Coming up on TTC. <laughs> So if you haven't heard by now, Apple's AirPod 2s are literally the most popular, truly wireless earphones or earbuds in the whole world. It's a fact, and I wanted to provide you guys with an alternative, a cheap alternative, if you didn't want to chalk up the 200 or 160, depending on what combination you get. So I've been using these Zolo earbuds for going on about a year now. I gotta say that these earbuds are very good for the price point. They come in at about 80 bucks. So what I'm gonna do is give you guys a comparison of these two earbuds and you can determine which one is the best one for your needs. So Apple AirPod 2s first, let's get into that. So people are calling these Apple AirPods the AirPod 1.5s because look wise, they look exactly the same. Same design, only difference is the case is now a wirelessly charging case. Apple trolled us with the Air Powers by canceling it completely. They even had the AirPods on the actual box with these new earbuds, and all of a sudden news broke that that they canceled it because the Air Power wasn't living up to their expectations. So they just ditched the whole project. But there are many alternatives for wireless charging, especially with these guys. I picked up one from Amazon that's a really great solution, and I'll link the description in the bio. Sound-wise on these guys, the bass is very punchy. The mids and the highs are adequate for what they are. You know, if you had any type of Apple AirPods, they would pretty much all sound the same. Uh, you know, the sound quality is good. On the actual AirPod, there's an onboard accelerometer that, that can detect when you take the AirPod in or out of your ear. And when you take it out, it'll actually pause your music automatically. And when you put it back in, it'll resume play, the playback, which is pretty cool. There's now a new LED on the front of the case, which determines what state of power you're, you're using on these cases. So orange means that the case is charging, green means that the charge is full, and white means that it's in pairing mode. They also stayed with the lightning charger, so I guess we won't be getting any USB-C on the new iPhone that comes out next year. Apple also updated the chip that these guys are rocking. It used to be the W1, but now they are the brand new H1 chip, which Apple is boasting a lower latency for gaming and syncing capabilities. I can tell you that they are faster and that the microphone is way better quality. There's better battery life, and now the Apple AirPods also support a hey Siri. So that wraps up the Apple AirPods. Now let me give you guys a, a look at the Zolo Trueless Wireless AirPods and tell you a little bit about those. On a full charge, you get 24 hours of battery life with these guys. They are sweat proof and water resistant. There's rubber inside which promises accidental falls and everything when you're taking a jog or working out, which I really like. The, the Apple AirPods honestly are very slippery they keep falling out of my ear they don't really fit that well but these guys they stay in they're snug it also it is a, there's a good sound cancellation that happens once they're right in there and snug and you just turn it like that and just they, they they fit really nice sound quality isn't the best especially when you're on a phone call you can only hear it out of one ear out of the right earbud which in my opinion is the biggest drawback from these zolos and with the year that i've had them they've dropped connection a few times, which I haven't experienced that with the Apple AirPods. So both the Zolos and the Apple AirPods do connect rather quickly. And with the H1 chip in the Apple AirPods, they connect even faster than the Zolos if you're using an iPhone. 
Size-wise, the Zolos in the case are 112 grams and the Apple AirPods are 38 grams. A significant size difference and weight difference. You can definitely feel the weight and the size even when you're putting them in your pocket. The Zolo does stick out quite a bit, but, but when you put the AirPods in your pocket, you can barely even notice that they're there, which I love. I love the minimalistic design. The Zolo AirBud case uses a micro USB when charging, and the three LEDs on the front will determine what status that you're at, either 25, 50, or over 75% battery life. They both drop right into the case very easily with magnets. The, uh, the Apple unboxing experience is pretty familiar. You have your box, you have your, your documentation, your cable, and then you have the Apple earbuds. I love the Zolo unboxing experience. The packaging was top notch. It come with the case, the earbuds. It also comes with, with a yellow woven micro USB cord and extra tips. But that's about it guys, so let me know what you think. If you know of another alternative, put it down in the, in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the Zolos and if you have any, any other comments or any other questions, let me know. In a later video, I'll show you more of my space and what I've done with this YouTube studio. Thanks so much for watching the video guys. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.